Cowboy Player of the Week presented by Cowboys Customs was none other than Micah Parsons. Again, I say it to you guys all the time. I'm running out of words. I'm running out of words for this guy, man. Micah Parsons, another multi-sack game. That's his 10th of his career. He joins guys like Reggie White, uh, Richard Dent, and among others to have started their career in the first three seasons with 10 or more sacks. The other two guys who are ahead of him at this moment are uh, Sean Merriman and Alden Smith, but he has 15, 15 more games to break or surpass Alden Smith and or Reggie. It all depends. Now you need to get he needs to get about seven more of those this year, which would be unbelievable. But nonetheless, I think he can surpass Alden and Sean Merriman. Those guys are at 12 right now. Micah has 10 with 15 more games to go in regards to multi-sack games. And he's only two years and two games into his career. Unbelievable. He set the tone early, in my opinion. He set the tone early on the very first third down play of the game, which I just happened to watch it from the film view. I got the film in at the very last second before I came on the show. I said, I'm going to look at this play. Oh, it's a beauty. It's a beauty how it's set up, and, and it just goes to show you how having two dominant forces at defense and end will help out everybody, including the best defensive player in the league. But we'll we'll break that down another time. But he set the tone early with the, the first third down sack of the game, and then he kept the pressure. He kept the pressure on Zach Wilson, much like he did with Daniel Jones. In week one, he beats the center, abuses the center, forces Daniel Jones to roll out. He throws an interception to Gilly. If you just take that play, put it over top of Zach Wilson's other interception, it looks almost identical. Michael Parsons abused the center. He has him reaching and, and, and trying to pull and, and catch Michael Parsons, forces Zach Wilson to roll out, throws the interception to J. Ron Curse for what was almost a pick six. It's plays like that from Michael Parsons that make him special. Creating for others, right? The impact that he has that's not just the sacks. And if you guys go back to the summer, Michael Parsons talked about this. Micah said, not really chasing sacks. It's about the impact. Here's what Michael Parsons had to say about that. I'm 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 kinda off the sack wave. I'm on I'm on to the impact wave. Like you see Aaron Donald, he could have 12 sacks, but the impact he makes is, like, so dominant. Like, you can tell. I am really just want to be a dominant. The impact he makes. I'm on the impact wave. When Michael Parsons is on the field, just being there alone, he's more impactful than any defensive player in the National Football League. And he might be more impactful than any player. You can call it homerism. You can call it what you want. Right now, Michael Parsons is the most impactful player in the National Football League, period. When he was out there in week one, he was responsible for five sacks that he didn't make. But he was a part of that because of the attention that he's drawn. You saw what happened last uh, or yesterday against the Jets when he's out there chasing around uh, Zach Wilson, forcing him to turn the ball over. When he's out there chasing around Dalvin Cook, stripping the rock. He had two sacks. Four quarterback hits, three tackles for loss, a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, almost a tutty. Mike is him, man. He's him. He also said this, just playing chess, being able to move around, I think that's the special ability that I have that I want to incorporate. He talked about that in that same interview back in June. And if you guys remember, we talked about how Micah, you know, was a bit frustrated in his usage last year. He felt like he could be making a difference moving around as opposed to playing primarily on one part of the defense. He's been moved around. He joked about playing eight different positions. Micah has been moving around that offensive line. He's been used on stunts. He's been rushing from the, from the A and B gaps. He is making that elite Canton-type impact. And you see it on the field. He ended that interview saying, it's going to be a year to remember for sure. It 100% has been a start to remember. Now, we're inching closer, as Micah likes to say, to a specific goal, but it's been un an unbelievable start, and he helped Dallas Cowboys lift them to a victory 
And that is my Cowboy of the Week, presented by Cowboys Custom. Cowboy Customs can give your vehicle the lift it needs. They not only do custom suspensions, but also customize your wheels and tires. I love a family-owned and operated business, and Cowboys Customs is family-owned and operated, and it's the place to go for all your vehicle needs. So stop by any of these four locations, Cowboys Customs, Cowboys Auto, located in Arlington and North Richland Hills, Cowboys Wheels and Tires, located in Irving. Stop by and get a free leveling kit with the purchase of wheels and tires, or give them a call at 817 633 4611817 